Hey everyone, welcome back to your part tutorials. Today I'm going to tell you how we can create the reusable components. So reusable components we can create in the basically in the studios, and we can use those reusable component into the other projects. So how we can do that is like just open the studio and click on the library button. Give the name of the project and click on the create. So I have already created, so I'm canceling this. So this is the project that I have created with the name read excel reusable. So create one XAML file with the name status logs. You can create it from here. Clicking on the new and click on the sequence. Give here the status logs and click on the create button. So you can see here I've used the if activity here and I've just conditioned log table is nothing. So log table is a data table here. I have just created three arguments log table, log message, log status and log dates. This is in out direction and other word in. So if it's the table is nothing, we are going to create a build data table. So we have a three columns here and the output we are taking it in the log table. And then we are just adding one euro with the data log message, log status and log date and putting that into the log ta data table. If there is some value in the log table, then it will come directly here and it will going to again going to add in one new row to that existing data table. So I am just publishing this component, giving the path and click on the publish button. So 1.0.8 so I have a package with this version number I am going to use this package to my another project so this is the project I have created click on the main file now I am going to click on the manage packages button then window R so this is the package so I have already installed this this is a version 8 for me so I am updating this so first time you need to install it and click on the save button so once this is done you will going to find this in the activities let me show you so when you come to the activity and type reusable you can see this is the project name that I have given read excel reusable and this is basically the XAML file name just drag drop here and then the property you can see like the argument that I have created those were the inputs so and those were the, so the arguments you can see here I have given the direction in So the direction those were in that are coming in the properties in the input and when the direction is input output as I have given this in out here. So what this will going to do I have passed the date time here log message I have given then log status so for now I am just doing it hard codings here. It depends you want to do it from the config file or it means this depends upon what exactly you want to do in your process so here I have passed the inputs and this is what I have input and output in the log table I have one message box so this is like invoke I have just you can see I have a message with invoking message box then just after the message box I am using like successfully invoke message box then I have used the right range activity I am going to create one sheet and I am going to put this log table information here so if I am going to run this its message box appears click on the ok so this is completed means the activity is working fine so you can see here this is the test file that is created 
so you can see here I have a two messages here one is invoking message box second successful successfully invoked message box so from here you will going to know like if you want to maintain the status logs at each and every steps or you want to maintain a high level logs on so you can prefer this solution so this is it for today thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you